If you're looking for a video on a specific topic, simply type in what you're looking for in my channel search bar. And if I have videos addressing that topic, it will take you right to them. What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So you guys, many of you know, um, if you don't know, uh, I have just finished my first year of PA school not too long ago and I am in, into my second year of PA school and this year is your clinical year. Um, so that is what we're going to be talking about right now, my clinical year of PA school. What do I expect in this upcoming year? For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe. Join me on this journey if you haven't already done so. And for those of you who aren't new, thank you guys so much for coming back and just following me on this journey. So you guys, as I previously stated I am about to start clinicals and what that means is I'm going to have a full year of just each month going to different specialties and working kind of like bartering my services um, kind of being an indentured servant I guess you can say or an apprentice in these different fields and learning about them and seeing the role of the PA in that field. So my first rotation is going to be emergency medicine and I'm really, really, really excited about this. I hear a lot about the emergency medicine rotation and a lot about the ER. You see a lot about ERs and so you have like this preconceived notion about how it's gonna be and the notion is usually that it's gonna be like crazy, you know, like people rushing in and in a trauma setting type of feel but i'm excited i i'm ready i'm a little nervous that it's my first one it's like they're throwing me in their head first but i'm excited about it because i really want to get that base core foundation down with respect to understanding like my critical thinking making sure that's up to par and also just being comfortable and familiar with the workings of kind of a dynamic setting. And so I'm really excited about that, you guys. Um, I do have a trauma rotation and a critical care rotation. So I'm very, very heavy on the critical thinking, high acuity uh, rotations. Um, not everyone is going to have a trauma rotation or a critical care rotation. That's what I chose for my elective and my inpatient, but other people choose different things. I did wanna do a dermatology rotation just because that might be something that I'm interested in, you know. Um, but I really am excited. I cannot wait for my women's health rotation and my pediatric rotation. Those have always been my heart. Those have always been what I really gravitate towards. I feel like I might end up there at the end of this whole PA school thing. That might be where I find my home. But you never know. I'm keeping my mind open and I'm keeping my options open to make that decision one um, school is over and once I guess job opportunities start rolling my way uh, so yeah I'm excited you guys I don't know what to expect in any of these like I said I have emergency medicine first then I'll be doing like a CT surgery which is cardiothoracic surgery really really like really nervous about that one excited but nervous at the same time I'll also then be doing critical care trauma women's health behavioral medicine, family practice or primary care, pediatrics. I'm trying to get a cosmetic surgery rotation as well as an ortho elective. And then we have a research component which is gonna do our master's thesis statement. So that is my year in this next coming months. I will keep you guys posted on how everything goes. I'm doing it this like again as like a snapshot kind of so I can kind of just go backwards. You know, we're gonna rewind rewind each month or I guess maybe at the end to, so I can see exactly what I was thinking with re each rotation and where I am now but now like my expectations for the rotations are that they're going to be very interesting very fun very nerve-wracking at the same time um, but very very informative for me and so we'll see I will let you guys know again um, how they go each month as I complete a rotation I will definitely give you guys a recap of those and I can't wait to share this experience with you guys. We are in it second year. Another journey to complete. Let's get it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any suggestions on any videos, please leave it in the comment section below. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe and thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.